Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss about auto sourcing in uh, info record, and we'll discuss what is the use of auto sourcing in in uh, in info record. This is a new uh, future in SAP S Purana. So we'll see uh, what is the use of auto sourcing. And before that, I'm going to create the one material. So I'm going to simply copy the material MM, using MMCC the code. Okay, I have created a material, so I just want to go to change mode. Go to MRP V1 and V2. Okay, look at this. MRP type everything I have uh, entered here already. Go to MRP V2, look at here. Uh, my safety quantity is uh, 1000, so while running the MRP, PR will get created for the thousand quantity. Okay, so save this. Now I'm going to create the info record. Okay, this is the material just now we created, and this is the vendor and the purchase order, a purchase uh, organization and the plant. Press enter. Press enter. Give uh, required failure. Enter the order required entries here. So enter the net price is uh, suppose six hundred rupees. And look at here. Auto sourcing, okay. This one, this is the new feature in SAP S Purana. So if you activate this while during the MRP run, okay, uh, and uh, PR will generate at there, right? So in that PR, this source will consider, okay. Uh, this source will consider there in the PR. Okay, let me uh, save this. Okay, so I'm going to run the MRP now uh, using T code MD zero one N. Okay, so click on execute, and this is the material. Okay, I'm running the uh, MRP. Okay, uh, select, uh, select here and click on requirement list. Select and again click on requirement list. Look at here, PR has generated. If I click on here, you can see source. How it generated because of auto sourcing. Okay. If I click on display, look at here. Okay, source was determined, and you can see info record. This is the this is the one just now we have created. Okay, and this is the use of auto sourcing. This is the new future in SAP S Thanks for watching. Bye.